Well, we're back here following the fortunes of the, the swarm that I picked up. What would it be? Maybe four, four and a half weeks ago, I would think, something like that. Just to bring you up to date what actually, actually happened, this, when, I, when I visited the apiary uh, about a fortnight after, went into the hive, I didn't find any sign of the queen, any sign of any eggs or larva or anything that you'd expect with a lean queen. So it is a bit worrying and I haven't got a clue what I'm going to find in there. If it's just bees and honey, there's no future for the colony. Um, I'm hoping there may well be um, some larva, eggs. It could even be, be bees hatching at the moment if, 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 if everything goes right. But I've no idea what's going to what's going to be in there. So uh, we're going to get a little bit of smoke, just a tiny little bit of smoke, uh, which will calm the bees down a little bit. Um, and if we find the queen, I'm going to try and try and mark her. Uh, probably, possibly clip uh, a wing as well. The reason you do that is because this is a working farm. And if you get a swarm, if a swarm, if you get good weather for the, through the summer, it's possible these, these could swarm again. And you don't want a, a swarm on a working farm. If they land on a, a combine harvester or a, a, a working tractor, it can shut the farm down for the day. So it's essential that you do, if possible, clip, clip just one wing. You only take the tip off the wing, don't make any difference to the queen at all. And what that means is when they do swarm, they'll just go a few metres ball up and then you've got options as to as to what you do from there so that's why we, we clip wings so uh, we're going to go in and uh, and see what we find So this top box is called a super and this is what we encourage them to put the honey in. It doesn't feel like there's a lot in there but possibly some. So this is a queen excluder which is uh, just big enough for the, the gaps are just big enough for the workers to come through but not big enough for the queen to come through because we want to keep the the queen out of the the box with the, just the honey in. So we're inspecting for a queen all the time. So looking at this, it looks quite healthy. It's only drawn at half the half the the actual hive, but they are working right way across. So we're just going to take out the frame to start with. No damaging the bees at all. So that's quite a bit of honey in there. No eggs, no young. And again, we just gotta check for the queen. You don't want to take the queen out of the hive. Just get a little bit of no, that should do it. You don't need much. And now we're looking for evidence of a laying queen. The 
first frames are not really relevant, not drawn out even. This is the first one that's actually, there again, plenty of honey. No queen, all workers. There again, the build, this is the foundation that I put in. Can you see the, this is just wax foundation that we make the frames up of. It encourages the bees to, to, to do what they're doing there, which is basically build home. So this is where we get to the part where we know if it's a, a dead, in effect, dead colony, or if it's got a future with a queen laying. So you can see there all the, the different coloured pollen, dark pollen, light pollen, and then the honey round it. That is That weighs quite a lot, there's a lot of honey in that frame. It's sort of three or four jars of honey in, in that frame. Ah, now we've got some eggs, so that's a success. Can, can you see in the actual cells, right at the bottom, there's a little white egg. Don't know if you can see it. That tells me the Queen's lane, which means this colony has got a future, which is brilliant. There you can look at all the different colours of pollen. So we're now watching for the Queen. Now we've got a seal brood. You can see the the brood, which is like a like a grub, and then the seal brood has got a wax top on it. So this is really looking healthy at the moment now. Oh, there's the queen. You see the queen in the corner? Yeah, the bigger one, nearly twice as big. So now I'm gonna try and catch the queen. Yep, we've got the queen in there. Put the frame back. Probably we've got honey all over there. Right, can you see the queen there? I'm not used to doing this in front of a camera. So there. Bit fiddly. Not easy with them to put bigger gloves on. There, I've just managed to clip the queen there, which is excellent. So now what I've got to do is try and mark her. So I've got the blue marking printed here. I'll just see if I can see better. Yeah, we've got some on. Go on. Yeah, that'll have to do. So now I've got to get back in the in the hive without flying away, which is the real problem. If that happens, then so come on then. She's gone back in. You see how the blue mark on? It's going down now. Right, so that's excellent. So I don't really need to go any further because I've done everything that I needed to do. So we're just going to 
move it up a little bit. Move it up a little bit. And put the, the other frame back. So now we put it all back together. What I'll do, just so we're not. No, I ain't got it. I'll only have a spray. You know, the spray with me. Great, so we'll put this back on. You just tap it, the bees tend to get out of the way. And so, you, can't, you can't help but some, squashing some bees as a beekeeper, I'm afraid. But you just keep it down to an absolute minimum. So that is right there. So in effect, what happens now is the queen, the, the workers can get through, put the honey, especially as now the, the hive is increasing in size because of the, the eggs and larvae. Uh, we should get a lot of honey in here. And so we just keep going in every couple of weeks and making sure there's capacity for the honey and for the brood. So that is one big success. <laughs>